Hi. I'd like to take a moment today in order to instruct you on how you can utilize your TI Inspire calculator to do arithmetic as well as conversion with rectangular and polar coordinates. It's very simple. I have, as you can see, the TI Inspire CX CAS software pulled up on my computer, which emulates my calculator on my computer. It's the same process with the handheld as it is on the computer. Now, to begin with, I'm going to input a rectangular number, an XY coordinate. So I'll hit my open parenthesis, then I will put in a X value. I'm going to utilize the square root of 3 over 2 as my X value. And for my Y value, I will not use a comma, use the plus or minus button depending on whether it's positive or negative, mine is positive, and I am going to utilize one half as my y value. These numbers should look familiar. The, um, now this alone won't tell the, the calculator that you're dealing with the rectangular coordinate, which is add these together if I hit enter now. So in order to tell the calculator that this is an x coordinate and this is a y coordinate, what you have to do is you have to come down here to the, your pi button and you hit the pi button twice and it will highlight the i button that's short for imaginary and it's going to tell the software that this is at a 90 degree angle this number right here is at a 90 degree angle so there you go you just hit enter and that is how you input a rectangular coordinate now, after I hit enter, it gave me the polar equivalent over here on the right. That's because I have it in polar mode. If I had it in rectangular mode, it would just give me the rectangular equivalent on the right-hand side. If I had it in real mode, it will still work the exact same way. It would just give me my input as my output. So, whether I use rectangular or polar. That's what the difference is between the calculator settings actually do. It will still work in real mode. You don't actually have to worry about that that much. So now let's say I wanted to add a set of XY coordinates. So I'm going to utilize the same ones I just picked so I don't have to retype them. Now then I'll hit a plus sign. Work with all your other arithmetic functions as well. And then I'll use the same set of coordinates hit enter so I added the two rectangular coordinates together and as I would expect it gave me a vector with a magnitude of 2 and an angle of 30 now let's say that I didn't have this in polar mode I had it in rectangular mode so it didn't automatically give me a polar number and I wanted a polar number I wanted a answer that had a magnitude and a angle. I can convert very simply using the calculator's automatic function. So I'm going to bring the set of number coordinates here down and to convert them all you have to do is you hit menu then you want to hit 2 and then you want to go to 9 complex number tools and then you want to go to 6 convert to polar and that would convert it to polar. Now you can do the same exact process with polar numbers. Let me demonstrate how. In order to enter a polar number, what you gotta do is hit the open parenthesis sign, and then you have to put in your magnitude. I'm going to choose a magnitude of one. I'm using the same same things numbers we've been using. And to put in the angle, to tell the calculator that you're inserting an angle, if this is an actual vector, you have to hit the control button. And you have to go over here to the symbol button, the one that looks like a book. And you're looking for this symbol right here, which is already highlighted on mine. It's, this is your angle symbol. Now, just so you know, there are two that will both work. That's the first one, which is just... 4 over and 2 down from the top left corner. They're very easy to find. The second one is further down. It's right there. It's on the far right hand side. And both of them will work. I have used both of them. This one is just a little bit easier to find, so I tend to use it more. And just hit enter, and it'll put your angle symbol in there. And you can put in your angle. It will work just fine with radians as well.
and there you go. You just inputted a rectangular number into your TI Inspire calculator. Now, if I wanted to do arithmetic, multiplication, addition, division, subtraction with the same exact um, with vectors, polar coordinates, I can do it the exact same way I did with rectangular coordinates. So you just take your polar coordinate, and I'm going to choose addition. And then I'm going to use the same coordinate. I'm going to add the two together, just like I did earlier with the rectangular coordinates, and hit enter. And exactly as I would expect, I got a, it just added the two together. I have a resulting vector with a magnitude of two and an angle of 30 degrees. Now, let's say I need my answer, for whatever reason, in rectangular form. I need a XY coordinate. I can convert from polar to rectangular just as easily as I converted from rectangular to polar. All you do is you take your resulting vector and you hit menu and you will go to two number, nine complex number tools and utilize in this case number seven, convert to rectangular. And it gave me the rectangular equivalent. Menu, two, nine, seven, enter. And there is your rectangular equivalent for a vector with an angle of one, <laughs> excuse me, with a uh, magnitude of one and an angle of 30 degrees. Now, just so you know, you don't actually have to convert prior to actually doing arithmetic. So if I wanted to add a rectangular coordinate, for instance, to a polar coordinate, I can. The calculator will do that. It has no problem doing that. So it's that simple. Thank you for watching. Bye.